application problem this is question number two or application list consider the circle defined by x square plus y square equals to 13 show that the point minus 2 minus 3 lies on the circle part b determine the length of the diameter of the circle part c find an equation for the line that passes through a and is perpendicular to OA, right? Take your time, do this question, and then look into my solution, okay? Now, here is part A. That is so simple. Show that the point this lies on the circle. Just plug it in, right? So, when I write minus 2 squares, we get basically minus 2 square plus minus 3 square equals to what? So this is minus 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 9 equals to 13. Therefore, it satisfies the equation and therefore the point lies on the circle. Determine the length of diameter of the circle. Diameter should be twice radius. And how much is the radius? Radius is not 13. Radius is square root of 13. And therefore, Diameter will be 2 times square root of 30. Correct? So that's your answer. Don't put 13 there. Okay? The formula is x square plus y square equals to r square. Right? So r is square root value. Okay? So it is basically, think like this. It is r square. So it is square root 13 square, which is written here. Radius is square root 13. Find an equation for the line that passed through A, which is this point, and is perpendicular to OA. O is the origin. So basically what we have here is, let's try to understand the situation. Let's say we have a circle here. The center is 0. Minus 2, minus 3 is somewhere here, let's say, right? That's the point A, right? So that means that's our radius. Find an equation of a line that passed through A and is perpendicular to OA. So if a line is perpendicular to OA, so it will be kind of like this. Do you see that? That is your line. Tangent at this point, right? So, it should be at right angles here. Do you see that? So, we find from the right angle, we will get the slope, right? So, first step is find slope of OA. We will say slope of AO. We can write because I wrote a line like this. Slope will be OA0, right? And A is this point. So, this minus 0, which is minus 2, so y2 minus y1, right? So this is your y2, which is minus 3 over minus 2, which is 3 over 2, correct? That is the slope of your line OA. So slope of perpendicular line will be, let me write slope of perpendicular like this. Negative reciprocal, that means negative of 2 over 3. So that is the slope, right? And the point it is going through is A minus 2 minus 3. What should be the equation? The equation you could write as, let the equation be y equals to mx plus b, right? Where y is, you can put this point, x and y, minus 3, let's say minus 3 equals to slope of minus 2 over 3, and x is minus 2 plus b. So from here, we can calculate the value of b, right? So b is equals to, we'll bring this term on that side. So you get minus 3 and this plus, this will be plus when you multiply. When you bring it here, it becomes minus again, right? Minus 4 over 3 is equal to b, right? Now you can solve this. Let me solve it here. So 3 times 3 is 9. So it's minus 9 minus 4 over 3, right? which is minus 9 minus 4 is minus 13. So minus 13 over 3. It is moving like this. How does it matter? So we got the value of B. And therefore, the equation of our line perpendicular 
should be y equals to what is the slope for us? Minus 2 over 3, right? And b is minus 13 over 3. Let me write here x and minus 13 over 3, right? So that is our equation of the line in slope intercept form. You could write this in standard form also. Multiply everything by 3, bring x to this side, and there you are. Okay, so that is how you do these three parts. I hope you understand. Part C is critical. Look at, look at it carefully, right? Many times students uh, don't have a clue how to do it. So have a look and then do it yourself. Thank you.